Now, I got two news about Elon Musk, which happened in rapid succession. So instead of making two videos, I just made one. I don't want to be greedy. I'm not going to make you guys click more on my videos. I'll, I'll just not waste your time because I appreciate your time. So let's get down to it. I already talked about how a young lad made a Twitter account, which was following Elon Musk's private jet. And the way he did this was by using public knowledge, public information from traffic control. And obviously, Elon Musk didn't like that. I mean, imagine if someone were to follow your car around and post it on the Internet. So Elon contacts the kid and asks him to terminate the Twitter account, which I got to say, I do appreciate him not using the stick because most other famous people like actors and celebrities, they would have just contacted Twitter, Trust and Safety. They would have just complained about Twitter being unsafe because, you know, they're being doxxed or whatever. And Twitter would have just banned the person. But no, Elon actually talks with him and asks him to take down the account. He even offered to give him $5,000. I mean, I want you guys to appreciate this. When you were a teenager, how much was five grand worth to you? You can even buy a car with that money. I mean, you get paid five grand for doing nothing. That's amazing. But uh, this guy was a little bit greedy. He wanted $50,000 to go through college or to buy a Tesla. And Elon said, well, I'm going to think about it. And it seems that now he blocked him. So I guess the uh, teenager was a little bit insistent. Probably started e-begging more than he should. So, yeah, he got blocked. And now he's doing, <laughs> he's doing different Twitter accounts with other billionaires. I think he's following Jeff Bezos' plane and other billionaires. I, I definitely think that they're not going to be as nice and they're going to ask Twitter Trust and Safety to look into the whole doxing thing. So I think that's going to be the end of that, which, you know, it's kind of unfortunate. I, I don't think people should be silenced, but... At the same time, I do understand how it's like. Again, as I mentioned before, imagine if someone were to follow your vehicle around and make a map of it. Even if it would be public knowledge, even if someone just drives a bike behind it, you, you wouldn't like that. I mean, how can you cheat on your girlfriend if it's public information where you're going? So, um, But the second news about Elon Musk is also very interesting. He came out in defense of the Canadian truckers. And he said that the fringe minority is actually the government, not the truckers. It's not really accurate, I would say. It's uh, simply because in Canada, as I mentioned before, you have two or three major cities. And if you happen to get the vote there, then you win elections. And those cities are where the overwhelming amount of people are located. So... It is democracy. They don't have an electoral college. So those cities actually decide the fate of the entire country. So, yeah, I mean, um, the government might have uh, majority support. I think more than 50% uh, of uh, Canadians actually do want the mandates. But the problem is that, again, there are people in the rural area who feel unrepresented, who feel that their vote doesn't matter because they don't have the numbers. And most of the truckers are from those rural areas. And when they actually do decide to protest, they're being labeled as sexist, homophobic, bigoted. So the government doesn't even want to listen to their grievances. There's no dialogue. There's no communication. It's just slander and trying to get rid of them. So I think that is what gets even more people protesting. That's not a solution. Um, pretending that the problem doesn't exist isn't going to make the problem go away. And since real life doesn't benefit from Twitter's Trust and Safety Council, you can't just block and mute people. You have to deal with them. You have to actually have a conversation. Which eventually, I think the government is going to have because you can't just have truckers not working. Um, if you think the honking and the blocking of the roads is bad, wait until you notice the supply chains being disrupted and you notice that there's stuff missing from the stores and you have entire empty shelves and that's not going to be fun so yeah i definitely think that the government is going to find the solution but in the meantime i want to talk about elon musk for a little bit uh, some people said he even donated to the truckers 
through GoFundMe. I couldn't find any evidence of that. Uh, if there is, please let me know in the comment section. But what I do know is that uh, he does seem to support them. And for anyone paying attention, this is not surprising, considering that I believe it was in 2020 when you had the mandates in the United States and all the businesses were closed. Uh, Elon Musk actually broke the mandate and said that he asks his workers to come back to work. And he even went there to the factory with them and said that if the police comes, he's going to be solely responsible. And he, he asked the authorities to arrest only him. Now, obviously, they didn't arrest him, considering that Elon Musk is probably the biggest taxpayer in U.S. history. Unironically, he paid more taxes than any other person in human history. So his money bought a lot of vaccines, by the way. People keep forgetting that. His critics don't mention the fact that it's through the grace of Elon Musk that people have vaccines, which were bought with taxpayer money. And since he pays a lot of taxes, connect the dots. But uh, what's interesting is that people called Elon Musk an anti-vaxxer. And I'm like, he's vaccinated. His kids are vaccinated. Like, he actually said the science is unequivocal. And it yet again shows just how crazy society has become. So even if you take it, even, even if you yourself choose to do it and you're not against it, and you're not even telling other people not to do it, but, but if you're not for the government forcing people, like that is what it is to be pro-vaccine now, to, to want the government to force people. To want the government to constrain people, to want the government to uh, blackmail people into taking... Unless you're like that, then you're an anti-vaxxer. It's, it's just the same like any person that uh, would prevent others from getting it. It's just so bizarre. Um, but what can you do? I guess definitions are constantly evolving. There, there's constant, uh, more encompassing definitions... I mean, uh, right now, the definition of homophobia seems to encompass that of the truckers. Uh, Trudeau called them homophobic. Now, I, I don't know where he got that. I don't think there was a single gay person that got um, attacked by any of the truckers. The reason they called them Nazis, I looked it up, it's because there were like two or three individuals which had the uh, hate symbols in the background. And because of that, all the truckers are responsible I mean, that is very bizarre, um, but whatever. I mean, I guess that's how you can uh, ruin a protest now. Next time there's a Trudeau rally, if if you just take a single uh, hate symbol or hate paraphernalia, then I guess the entire rally is tainted and Trudeau has no choice but to uh, step down and be unable to run for another re-election, right? And again, like, this is coming from a person that uses blackface in several pictures, uh, accusing other people of being racist. I mean, it's just so bizarre. It's so baffling. Maybe this is why all the truckers are honking nonstop. But anyway, I guess uh, this is why Elon Musk is uh, more interesting than other billionaires. I know a lot of people don't like him because he promises stuff and doesn't deliver. But again, he's a salesman. That's what salesmen do. They try to hype up a product. Whether or not the product is good, that's you know, um, not the point. The salesman is there to make you buy a thing. So, but, but people don't like him because of that. People like him because unlike other billionaires, he isn't woke. He's not virtue signaling. He's not speaking the speech. He's not talking the correct talking points. He does seem to actually say what he thinks. And he does seem to actually uh, not be afraid of expressing himself. And a lot of people appreciate that because we're in a world where everyone is plastic, everyone is corporate, everyone is saying the correct things, usually with a black, black background and, and white letters. Uh, and, and he just doesn't do that. So this is why a lot of people appreciate him. Anyway, now I'll end the video with a joke. It's something very funny that I saw on the internet. There was... Uh, a person asking one of the truckers, how long are they going to strike for? And the trucker said, uh, only two weeks to flatten the curve. I found that to be, <laughs> to be a little bit funny. Uh, let me know what you guys think. I'll see you in the comment section. And if you like this channel, please consider supporting it. There's a link into the description of the video. And don't forget to hit the thumbs up. It actually helps with the algorithm. The, the more thumbs up I get, the more the video gets spread. 
Usually I don't ask for these, but I have to ask every now and then. So yeah, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the comment section. Take care.